Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're diving into some of the top trending open source GitHub projects this week. Part 2. We've got a fantastic lineup of innovative tools and frameworks that are pushing the boundaries of AI and software development. From converting ebooks to personalized audiobooks with ebook to audiobook, to building robust recommendation systems with Monolith, and creating powerful AI apps with AI Gradio, we will explore these amazing projects step by step. So, let's jump right in and see what these projects have to offer. Project number 1 OM Agent a Python library for building powerful agents with vision, language, and more. Today, we're spotlighting OM Agent, a powerful Python library designed for building multimodal language agents quickly and efficiently. So, what makes OM Agent stand out? Well, it's all about simplifying the complex world of agent development. Instead of getting bogged down in the nitty-gritty of worker orchestration and task queues, OM Agent handles these under the hood, providing a simple, user-friendly interface. This lets you focus on designing your agent agent's behavior, rather than wrestling with technical overhead. One of the coolest things about OM Agent is its focus on reusability. It allows you to create agent components that can be combined to build complex agents, kind of like building with Legos. OM Agent also has native support for multimodal inputs, including vision language models, VLMs, real-time APIs, and even mobile device connections. This means you can create agents that understand not just text, but also images, videos, and audio. Think about building an agent that can analyze a video and answer your questions. OM Agent makes this all easier and faster. OM Agent provides a flexible, graph-based workflow engine and different memory types to enable contextual reasoning. It also goes beyond basic LLM reasoning, with state-of-the-art algorithms like React and Kot built in. The library includes example projects such as a video QA agent and a mobile personal assistant that you can build in minutes. The core library, Omagent Core, can be installed using PIP. It can also be configured to use various LLMs through API or locally deployed models. So, if you are trying to develop sophisticated multimodal agents without the headache, OM Agent is worth checking out. Project number 2, Prompt Wizard, a framework for self-evolving prompts through iterative feedback and synthesis. Let's, we're diving into another exciting project called Prompt Wizard, task-aware prompt optimization framework. So, what exactly is Prompt Wizard and what makes it so unique? Well, Prompt Wizard is a framework designed to automatically optimize prompts for large language models, LLMs, to improve their performance on specific tasks. Unlike manual prompt engineering, Prompt Wizard uses a self-evolving mechanism where the LLM generates, critiques, and refines its own prompts and examples through iterative feedback. This means that the prompts and examples are continuously improved for better results. One of the key aspects that sets Prompt Wizard apart is its task-aware approach. It doesn't just optimize prompts in isolation, it optimizes them in the context of the specific task at hand. This involves generating synthetic examples that are not only diverse, but also robust and relevant to the task. It also optimizes both instructions and examples in tandem, which ensures a holistic approach. The framework can also generate chain of thought, caught, reasoning steps using positive, negative, and synthetic examples, which further refines the prompts for optimal performance. Prompt Wizard can be used in three main ways, optimizing prompts without examples, generating synthetic examples to optimize prompts, and optimizing prompts with training data. It supports various datasets, like GSM-8K, SVAMP, Aquarat, and Instruction Induction, BBII. It uses a configuration file, promptopt-config.yaml, to set hyperparameters like the number of mutations and in-context examples. The framework also supports the use of APIs such as Azure OpenAI or OpenAI Keys. So, if you're looking to fine-tune your LLM prompts and squeeze out every last bit of performance, Prompt Wizard is definitely worth checking out. Project number 3, Storm, an AI system for generating Wikipedia-like articles through multi-perspective research. We're exploring an incredible project called Storm, synthesis of topic outlines through retrieval and multi-perspective question asking. So, what exactly is Storm, and what makes it so special? Well, Storm is an LLM-powered knowledge curation system designed to research a topic and generate a full-length, Wikipedia-like article with citations. Unlike other article generation tools, Storm focuses on automating the research process by coming up with good questions to ask. It does this by adopting two key strategies 
perspective-guided question asking, and simulated conversation. What sets Storm apart is its method of gathering information. Instead of just directly prompting an LLM, it discovers different perspectives by surveying existing articles on similar topics. It also simulates conversations between a Wikipedia writer and a topic expert, grounded in internet sources which helps the language model to understand the topic and ask relevant follow-up questions. This helps to improve the depth and breadth of the generated content. Storm breaks down the process into two stages, pre-writing, where the system conducts internet-based research and generates an outline, and writing, where the system uses the outline and references to create a full article with citations. Storm also has a collaborative version called CoStorm, which supports human AI collaboration for more aligned information seeking and knowledge curation. CoStorm implements a collaborative discourse protocol and maintains a dynamic mind map to organize information and help reduce mental load. Both Storm and CoStorm are implemented using DSPY. You can install the library using pip install knowledge storm. It supports various language and embedding models via the Littleman integration. So, if you're looking for a powerful system to help with knowledge exploration and article generation, Storm is definitely worth checking out. Project number 4, CF Hero, a reconnaissance tool for discovering origin IP addresses using multi-source intelligence. We're diving deep into a fascinating project called CF Hero, a reconnaissance tool for discovering origin IP addresses of Cloudflare-protected web applications. Now, what makes CF Hero so unique? Well, it's designed to uncover the real IP addresses of websites that are hiding behind Cloudflare's protection. Unlike standard network tools, CF Hero uses a variety of multi-source intelligence gathering methods to find these origin IPs. This allows security professionals and researchers to identify potential vulnerabilities and misconfigurations. One of the key features of CF Hero is its DNS reconnaissance capabilities. It checks current DNS records, such as ANTXT records, for exposed IPs. Sometimes, these records contain the actual IP addresses of the web server, even if the website is behind Cloudflare. The tool also analyzes historical DNS data and correlates associated domains to find additional IP addresses. Additionally, CF Hero integrates with third-party intelligence sources like Sensys, Shodan, and security trails. These search engines continuously scan the internet and log assets, potentially capturing real IPs before a domain is moved behind Cloudflare. CF Hero uses a sub domain technique, connecting to domains that are not behind Cloudflare and changing the host header to bypass Cloudflare and get a response from the application's real IP. It also offers advanced features such as custom JA3 fingerprint support, concurrent scanning, standard input support, HTML title comparison, and proxy support. The tool can be installed using Go and has a configurable YAML file to set API keys for third-party services. CF Hero can be used with a variety of parameters, including specifying a list of domains, setting target domains, and including specific data sources. So, if you're looking for a tool to help you see behind the curtain of Cloudflare, CF Hero is worth exploring. Project number 5, Crawl for AI an open-source, high-performance tool for LLM data extraction and processing. Let's, we're diving into another awesome project called Crawl4AI, open-source LLM-friendly web crawler and scraper. So, what makes Crawl4AI so unique? Well, it's designed to be a blazing fast, AI-ready web crawler specifically tailored for large language models, LLMs, AI agents, and data pipelines. Unlike many other web crawlers, Crawl4AI is fully open-source with no API keys needed, and it's built for real-time performance. This means you get unmatched speed, precision, and deployment ease. One of the key things that sets Crawl4AI apart is its focus on LLMs. It generates smart, concise markdown that's optimized for RAG, retrieval augmented generation, and fine-tuning applications. It's not just about extracting data, it's about extracting data that is AI-ready. Crawl4AI also has heuristic intelligence that uses advanced algorithms for efficient extraction, reducing reliance on costly models. This allows it to extract core information and remove irrelevant content using BM25-based filtering. It is also capable of structured data extraction using LLMs, as well as with CSS selectors. It also offers flexible browser control, with session management, proxy support, and custom hooks for seamless data access. Crawl4AI has a ton of features, including dynamic viewport adjustment, which ensures that the browser captures all elements, even on dynamic pages. It has robust error handling, caching for improved speed, 
and supports many browsers like Chromium, Firefox, and WebKit. It also offers multi-browser support, dynamic crawling for JS execution, and the ability to extract images, audio, videos, and responsive image formats. It also has a memory dispatcher system for scaling to thousands of URLs with concurrency control and rate limiting. Project number 6, Eliza OS, a versatile and extensible framework for building multi-agent systems. We're diving into a really exciting project called Eliza OS slash Eliza, autonomous agents for everyone. So, what makes Eliza OS slash Eliza unique? Well, it's designed to be a platform for creating autonomous agents and it supports a wide variety of models and connectors. Unlike many other agent frameworks, Eliza is designed to be highly extensible, allowing you to create your own actions and clients. It also supports multi-agent and room support, making it ideal for complex interactions and collaborations. This project is all about making autonomous agents accessible to everyone. One of the key features that makes Eliza special is its versatility. It supports a wide array of models, including Llama, Grok, OpenAI, Anthropic, and Gemini, giving you the flexibility to choose the best model for your specific use case. It also has full-featured Discord, Twitter, and Telegram connectors built in. Eliza is also designed to easily ingest and interact with your documents, and it includes a retrievable memory and document store for persistent knowledge and information. The platform is designed to be highly extensible, which means you can create your own actions and clients to expand the agent's capabilities. Eliza also has some unique features that make it easier to use, such as a quick start guide and video tutorials. The project emphasizes its just works philosophy. The platform supports starting Eliza with Gitpod and deploying Eliza in one click. Eliza offers multiple ways to customize your agent including modifying the default character and loading custom character files. So, if you're looking for a platform to build powerful, versatile, and extensible autonomous agents, Eliza OS slash Eliza is worth checking out. Project number 7, Ren AI, an AI-powered platform for conversational data analysis. We're diving into an exciting open-source project called Ren AI, the GenBI AI agent. So, what makes Ren AI unique? Well, it's a GenBI, Generative Business Intelligence, AI agent that allows data-driven teams to chat with their data to generate text to SQL, charts, spreadsheets, reports, and BI. Unlike traditional BI tools, Ren AI empowers users to interact with data using natural language, making complex data analysis more accessible to everyone. This project aims to break down barriers to data insights with advanced AI-driven solutions making it easier to make faster, smarter, and data-driven decisions. One of the key features that makes Ren AI stand out is its user-centric, end-to-end open-source architecture. You can talk to your data in any language, including English, German, Spanish, French, Japanese, Korean, Portuguese, and Chinese. Ren AI goes beyond simple data retrieval, offering AI-generated summaries and key insights alongside SQL queries, simplifying complex data. It also provides AI-powered data exploration, answering questions like what data do I have, and dynamically generating follow-up queries. Ren AI Semantic Engine helps the LLM understand your business context and its modeling definition language reduces duplicate coding and simplifies data joins. Ren AI's architecture consists of three core services, Ren UI, which is an intuitive user interface for asking questions, Ren AI service, which processes queries using a vector database, and Ren Engine, which acts as the semantic engine. It supports various LLMs such as OpenAI, Azure OpenAI, Google AI Studio, Vertex AI, Bedrock, Anthropic API, Grok, Alama, and Databricks models. It allows for easy export and visualization of data with tools like Excel and Google Sheets. Project number 8 AI Gradio a Python package for rapidly creating AI applications with multi-provider. We're exploring an awesome project called AI Gradio, a Python package for building AI apps. So, what makes AI Gradio unique? Well, it's a Python package designed to make it incredibly easy for developers to create AI applications using various AI providers. Unlike many other AI app development tools, AI Gradio provides a unified interface for multiple AI models and services, all built on top of Gradio. This means you can quickly integrate different AI capabilities into your projects without getting bogged down in the complexities of each provider's specific API. This project streamlines AI app development, making it accessible for both novice and experienced developers. One of the key features that sets AI Gradio apart is its multi-provider support. It integrates with over 15 AI providers, including major players like OpenAI, Google Gemini, Anthropic, and Grok. 
This means you're not locked into one ecosystem and can choose the best models for your tasks. AI Gradio supports a wide variety of functionalities, such as text chat, voice chat, video chat, code generation, and multimodal inputs which include text, images, and video. Additionally, it offers unique features such as agent teams powered by Crew AI for collaborative AI tasks and browser automation that allows AI agents to perform web-based tasks. AI Gradio offers a range of specialized models, including those for language, code generation, and multi-purpose tasks, along with integrations for specific platforms like Luma AI, DeepSeek, and Quen. Installation is straightforward using PIP, with options to install support for specific providers or all providers at once. AI Gradio also supports API key configuration for various providers, ensuring secure access to AI models. Project number 9 Monolith, a deep learning framework for large-scale recommendation modeling. We're diving into an interesting project called Monolith, a lightweight recommendation system. So, what makes Monolith unique? Well, it's a deep learning framework specifically designed for for large-scale recommendation modeling. Unlike other recommendation systems, Monolith introduces two crucial features, collisionless embedding tables and real-time training. These features are critical for advanced recommendation systems that require both accurate and up-to-date information. This project is built on TensorFlow and is designed to support both batch and real-time training and serving, so it can adapt to a variety of use cases. One of the key features that makes Monolith stand out is its collisionless embedding tables which guarantees a unique representation for different ID features. This is essential in recommendation systems, where many different users and items can be represented by IDs. This avoids conflicts in representations and improves accuracy in recommendations. Another important aspect is its real-time training capability, which allows the system to capture the latest trends and user interests rapidly, helping users to discover new items and information. This means the system can quickly learn from new data and adapt to changing user behaviors, making it very responsive and relevant. Monolith is designed to be used in Linux environments and requires Bazel 3.1.0 for building. The project also requires a Python environment with specific packages, including NumPy, Wii, packaging, requests, opt underscore insum, and keras underscore preprocessing. There is also a tutorial available in Markdown slash demo that shows how to run distributed async training and guides on using the Monolith Model API. So, if you're looking for a lightweight, efficient, and scalable framework for building real-time, large-scale recommendation systems, Monolith is definitely worth checking out. Project number 10 ebook 2 audiobook. Convert ebooks to audiobooks with AI powered voice cloning. We're checking out an exciting tool called ebook 2 audiobook. Convert ebooks to audiobooks with chapters and metadata. What makes ebook 2 audiobook unique? Well, it's a tool designed to convert your legally acquired ebooks into audiobooks using dynamic AI models and voice cloning. This isn't just a basic text to speech tool. It organizes your audiobooks into chapters, adds metadata, and even allows for voice cloning to personalize your listening experience. Supporting over 1107 languages and designed to run on just 4 GB of RAM, it is an incredibly versatile tool. This project is built using Calibre, FFmpeg, XTTSV2, and Fairsec. One of the key features of eBook 2 Audiobook is its ability to use dynamic AI models for high-quality text-to-speech. The project utilizes Koki, XTTSV2, and Fairsec for this purpose. It also includes the option for voice cloning, which allows you to use your own voice or another voice file. The tool supports a wide range of eBook formats including .epub, .pdf, .mobi, .txt, and .html, with .epub and .mobi being preferred for automatic chapter detection. The output is an .m4b file, which includes metadata and chapter organization. You can use this tool with either a CPU or a GPU, but a GPU is highly recommended for speed. There is also a web GUI interface available for easy use. The project offers multiple ways to run, including a Gradio web interface and a headless mode. You can install the project by cloning the repository and running the appropriate script for your OS. It also provides Docker support, allowing it to be run in different environments. This makes the tool very accessible, regardless of your operating system. So, if you're looking for a powerful tool to convert your ebook collection into personalized audiobooks with a wide range of language support and voice cloning, ebook 2 audiobook is definitely worth checking out. Out. And that wraps up our deep dive into this week's trending open source projects. We hope you found these tools as exciting as we did. Remember to like this video, subscribe for more tech insights, and leave a comment below sharing which project you are most interested in. Stay tuned for next, and thanks for watching.